Good afternoon, I am Sasha, uh, Mr. Fellerman's daughter, a Parkinson's disease patient. About 2010, my mom felt like there's really something wrong with my dad. It's not just a simple fatigue because um, his walking started getting rougher every day and then his penmanship also um, changed. Um, sometimes he would stutter so we went to the like the best hospital in the Philippines and then there we found out that he was um, suffering from Parkinson's disease. He used to be this jolly person, always outgoing, very sociable. He was the life of the party of his friends. Um, with what his uh, suffering, we saw how drastically it changed him. So. From being that, that jolly person, he became this very shy, very conscious, and very distant. We started asking the doctors if there are any other um, thing that we can do besides drinking the medicines, but we were told that um, it's the only available solution in the market. And we are very lucky and extremely grateful for the Dubai government to to you know to allow my dad to become a resident here and my mom's company to give my dad the same benefits that they are get, uh, they are giving their employees i'm not saying it's an unfortunate event but he actually tested positive for the covid and then the silver lining of it was he met dr vinod because he was um uh, he was admitted here in King's College Hospital when he tested positive for coronavirus. And then there's this um, nurse, Miss Jo Bill. Uh, she asked my dad, uh, what's the problem? Why is he uh, shaking so much? So he told him about the his medical history. And then she told him that, oh, sir, we have this um, great doctor in King's College Hospital and he specializes with Parkinson's disease patients. I thought, uh, okay, it's again, it will be just like, we're gonna tell my dad's story, the doctor will give medicine, and then that's it. I'm not, you know, I'm not expecting so much because it's been more than 10 doctors that saw him and then they're just saying the same thing. But on our way back home inside the car, my mom told me that, this doctor is actually different. He's really looking at his patients and he explains everything thoroughly. And if there's any question, he would entertain everything. I'm Dr. Vinod Mehta. I'm one of the consultant interventional neurologists and movement disorder Parkinson specialist, King's College Hospital London, Dubai. Young Filipino um, um, patient, um, he was a professor of uh, economics, I think, and so he served this country and taught so many students for the last 15 years. And since Parkinson's hit him since last um, seven to eight years ago, I believe, uh, and he's tried range of oral medications, range of available treatments, even I understood that he went to India and, and also um, other countries almost important bet for any clinician is to gain trust in the patient. So that's what I did. I have to counsel patient himself. I have to explain to the family this treatment is nothing but levodopa treatment. Um, what he's taking currently, nothing but cinemat or syndopa, what you call it as. And this is in a gel form. And it's not instead of taking orally, we infuse the treatment through the jejunum bypassing stomach and duodenum. I actually preferred that he will be a good candidate for intrajejunal levodopa. The reason why I've chosen intrajejunal levodopa for this A is a very young onset Parkinson's disease. B, he was tried a range of oral medications and he reacted very badly to dopamine agonists in the past and responded very well to levodopa. Because he's already suffering for 10, uh, 13 years now. So um, 
it's considered as advanced Parkinson's. So after this duodopa uh, treatment, the Mr. Vinod Meta um, with Dr. Ray Chowdhury, uh, they told us that in a month time, everything will get better. Hello, I'm Professor Ray Chowdhury here speaking to you from King's College Hospital in London. But I'm also leading up the duodopa or levodopa infusion program, which is currently operational at King's College Dubai with my colleagues, Dr. Vinod Mehta, who's coordinating the clinical aspect of this important international program, along with Dr. Guy Chung Fei, a foremost expert in the implantation of this device for, through which the duodopa is infused into the person with Parkinson. Just background, Parkinson is projected to become a uh, condition with epidemic proportions in the next 20 to 30 years. One in 50 of us who cross the age of 80 will go on to develop this condition. Treatment for advanced phases of Parkinson is therefore crucial. And at the moment in the United Arab Emirates, such treatment provisions are a little bit scarce we have availability of deep brain stimulation, but what we bring into the via this program at King's College Dubai is the ability to offer something else to our patients in the United Arab Emirates and probably further afield. And this relates to infusing levodopa, the gold standard of treatment for Parkinson's, through an externally administered tube, which goes in through the, through the mouth into the stomach and then into the jejunum, implanted expertly by Dr. Gai Chung Fei, who has an international reputation in the field. And through it, and through an externally uh, fixed pump, deliver this drug at a very precise rate into the duodenum, from which the drug is absorbed straight into the blood and gives the patient um, uh, ability to overcome their Parkinsonian symptoms, motor and non-motor, on a 24-hour basis. Hello, my name is Dr. Guy Chung Fei. I'm a consultant gastroenterologist and part of the Judopa Infusion Program here at King's College Hospital, Dubai. The Judopa Infusion Program is led by Professor Ray Chowdhury and Dr. Vidal Mehta, who are both world-renowned experts in the field of Parkinson's disease and movement disorder. The Judopa Program is a way of directly infusing the right sort of medication directly into the small bowel in order to deliver the precise dose of medication to maximize the benefits and minimize any side effects. This is done by inserting a small tube into the abdominal wall, into the stomach and directly into the small bowel. This is guided by a small endoscopic camera which is inserted through the mouth and guides the tube into the right position. Parkinson's disease is a neurodegenerative disease. Like I would say, like diabetes and hypertension. Both are treatable, but not curable. He came to my clinic, completely wheelchair bound, with the refractory tremors. After intrajejunal levodopa infusion, you can clearly see he had a sustained um, response. Now he's able to walk, he's able to do his exercise. He used to like, uh, he, used to, he used to do all these exercises and yogas before and also he used to able to use his cutlery. The, the family was telling me he didn't be able to use his cutlery uh, knife and fork for the last five years. I'm very glad that this treatment made a life, life cha changing impact on the patient and also the carer. Now the daughter is saying that she's, so she wants to go back to her college and I wish her all the best. I would like to thank the entire King's College Hospital London Dubai management team for their extending their support for implementing this successful second Diodopa implementation program at King's Dubai.